Uh, it was just a leave, like I said, it was just a leave dive. Uh, the line had a, broke open a, a big hole. I seen it. Uh, I think I bounced off my own lineman or maybe a defender. I'm not sure. Uh, I just kept my feet moving, uh, kept my balance. <clears throat> and I looked up and there was no one in front of me but black shirt, so I just kept running. And then I seen a guy at the end. I make, had to make one guy miss to get to the end zone, and that's, that's all I remember. A little beast mode there? <laughs> yeah, I guess a little bit. Toronto, with Cal's record, were you concerned at all that maybe you guys might look past this game or underrate them at all? Oh, no. Every week is we're 0-0, zero zero, like Coach Riley says. You never overlook anyone. Like in the Pac-12, it's any given Saturday. Anyone can be beat any Saturday. So, no, we weren't overlooking them. They're, they're a really talented team. Uh, has some misfortunes this year, but they could be they could beat anyone. Ron, you got any extra motivation against Cal? Uh, no, no extra motivation. I had some friends on the team, I guess that's some motivation, but uh, no extra motivation from them being from the Bay Area, just another team in the way. How about with Oregon next week with your brother being a duck? Is there any, any family <laughs> rivalry there? No, my brother's proud of me. I'm a beaver and uh, I'm being successful in what I like to do, and there's no extra motivation. Just because he's a duck, you know, uh, he looks, uh, looks at me to be the best I can, and uh, that's all that matters. How do you and your brother advise each other and motivate each other? Uh, I mean, we talk weekly, daily, uh, just see how each other's doing, how practice going. Um, right now, he's in a tough situation. The Browns aren't doing too well. So uh, just see how he's doing. Uh, I try to encourage him as much as I can, being a little brother. But he he teaches me so much stuff just about the game, you know. So uh, just him, me learning from him because he's been here, done that, you know. So uh, as much as I can learn from him is good. Talk trash at all back and forth this week? Uh, <laughs> no, maybe a little bit. He's always posting some duck stuff on Instagram, so I may tell him to stop that this week, but uh, <laughs> not too much. Uh, Ron, for, for you guys as an offense, you haven't had you know, this <clears throat> offensive explosion until today. Do you feel like you're peaking at the right time as far as an offense? Oh, yeah. Uh, the linemen are playing great. I don't, I don't think we gave it too many sacks today, and we ran the bar pretty well. Uh, the linemen are doing great up front, giving the quarterback time and giving us holes to run through. So uh, I feel like we're at the right time. And a big play is always one, uh, one tackle away. That's how we've been all season. I just break that one tackle and a big play is, it could be any play. So uh, I feel like we're uh, peaking at the right time, yeah. All right, thanks, Rob. Thanks. Rashad Reynolds. Coach was sprinting into the end zone. Oregon was losing at the same time. Partially why the crowd was going crazy. Uh, no, I actually wasn't. Um, when 